Welcome back to DIY My Way. Today my tractor is getting a serious upgrade, which is why the hardware that supports my tractor umbrella is going away. Well, that was quick. Ever since I got my tractor, I had in the back of my mind that I wanted a hardtop canopy. And recently I got an offer I couldn't refuse. The folks at TractorAddons.com contacted me and asked me if I would try out one of their hardtop canopies. If that name sounds familiar, that's because they make the PTO Connect that I reviewed several months ago, and it's made connecting my PTO shafts much easier. In the months since I received the PTO Connect for review, Tractor Add-ons has added several new product lines to their offering. In addition to the PTO Connect, they now sell canopies, which I'll come back to in a moment. LED lights, PTO shafts, tractor service kits, steering wheel spinners, hydraulic top links, and tractor seats. Coming back to the canopies, they come in three sizes. The senior canopy is for large tractors and measures 60 inches wide by 65 inches long. The junior canopy is for lawn tractors and zero-turn mowers measuring 34 inches wide by 47 inches long. And the standard size is for compact tractors like mine and measures 45 inches wide by 60 inches long. Looking at the details for the standard canopy, again it's 45 inches by 60 inches and is made of very durable molded quarter inch thick polyethylene that is UV stabilized. In fact, they have a dramatic video of how tough these canopies are. There's a link to it in the video description. The canopy is molded to hug close to rounded rocks and it's made by Bearco. The price for the standard canopy ranges from $479.99 to $499.99, depending on the mounting kit you choose. It's available in blue, green, orange, red, white, and yellow. Of course I chose orange. There are three mounting kits available for the standard canopy depending on your needs and preferences. The default choice is the B3600 which fits most ROPs up to 41 and a half inches across and frames up to 3 and 3 16 inch wide by 2 inches thick. This kit was the one included with my canopy. The B4620 is the same design except it can fit ROPs with 4x2, 4x4, 5x2 or 6x2 frames. And the B2565 kit which is designed to clamp to the top bar of ROPs that are up to 41 and a half inches across and frames from 2x2 to 4x2. The canopy arrived in a panel truck delivered basically to the driveway in this great big box here that apparently suffered quite a bit of abuse on the way here, but fortunately the canopy is intact. The hardware is nicely packaged, including these support beams right here, which go on the top of the uh, mounting hardware, which is in that box. And the rest of the hardware is in here, including the instructions. The instructions are okay, but not as detailed as they could be. You'll have to use some common sense for a proper installation. All the hardware needed is included in the mounting kit. There are two sets of U-bolts, a set for 3x2 ROPs and a set for 2x2 ROPs. First thing you have to do is take off the side lights. I'm gonna to have to redo the lights entirely, but I think for now I can leave the rear lights and the forward light on this bracket. I think I can work around that. But these absolutely have to come off because the new hardware mounts here. So off they come. Step one is to place one of the canopy support rails across the top of the ROPs to use as a guide for the mounting brackets. The instructions say to tape it there temporarily, but I'm going to use clamps instead. Next, the first mounting bracket goes on, in my case using the 3x2 U-bolts, square washers, and lock nuts. You'll need a 17mm wrench or socket. Just snug them up, but not too tight at first. 
You can use a measuring tape to set the height of the bracket on the ROMs. I want my canopy to be as high as possible, so I just push the bracket flush with the bottom of the support rail. I make sure the bracket is straight up and down and then tighten them up. No torque is specified, so I make sure they are very tight. I repeat for the other bracket. The support rails can be attached to the outside of the brackets or the inside, which is where I ended up having to mount mine because of the width of my ROMs. Don't make the mistake I did of assuming the rails would fit under the canopy if mounted on the outside. There are three bolts in the support rails that allow you to choose how far forward the canopy sits. Since I have a backhoe and use it often, I chose the holes that sit the canopy back a bit so I can get a bit of shade when using the backhoe. It's attached with the included carriage bolts, square washers, and lock nuts, requiring a 17mm wrench. At first, I snug the nuts up so I can still adjust the rail's position. To minimize the chances of the support rail slipping down in the curved slots, I push them down to the lowest points in the slots where they will fit. This is not in the instructions, but it's just a bit of common sense. Then I use a level to make sure the rail is level. Again, this is not in the instructions. Then I tighten the nuts up moderately tight. Same song, second verse with the other support rail. As a double check, I use a four foot level to make sure the rails are level side to side. They are, so I tighten the nuts up as tight as I can. Now it's time to put the canopy on. It weighs 33 pounds, so it's manageable by one person. Being tall helps. The canopy is attached to the support rails using cleverly designed T-clamps. I insert a carriage bolt into the T-clamp section and place it on the top side of the support rail and canopy bar. Then place another T-clamp section on the bottom. And secure it with a lock nut but only snugly at first. By the way, by having the rails clamped to the round canopy bars, which are molded into the canopy, there are no bolt holes in the canopy itself, so there's no opportunity for leaks or weak points in the canopy. I think that's a pretty clever design. I repeat for the back end of the rail. Then repeat for the other side. If needed, you can use a rubber mallet or dead blow hammer to line up the canopy from front to back. And center it side to side. Finally, tighten up all the lock nuts. Here's a look at the finished canopy from different angles. I wasted no time putting it to use while repairing my driveway after heavy rains made a mess of it. Well, I don't know about you, but I think this thing looks pretty doggone good. I'm really satisfied with it, and, and despite my little mess up uh, uh, installing it, it went in when I did it right. It went in very easily, and I really like the design of the way it, it does hook up. It makes it easy, relatively easy for one person to do. 
Uh, two would be better for sure. And I don't think I'll have to move my rear lights. I think they can stay where they are. I'm gonna almost certainly move the uh, bar light here to the front, but I'm gonna try it out tonight. I'm curious to see if I get enough throw forward or if it's gonna blind me by the light that's up here. And I have to figure out how to remount my side lights, but that I'll come up with something for that before long. But overall, I think it's a great canopy and uh, thank you to Tractor Add-ons for giving it to me to try out. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please click that like button, leave a comment, and by all means, please subscribe. And if you want to know when I post new videos, click that little bell. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.